It's coding super quickly. It's gonna create this app very quickly for us. And by the way, this is all free. We haven't paid a single cent from our pocket to create this. App. Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna show you Google's new AI agent. Now we're very familiar with products like lovable.dev and bold.new. If you don't know what these products are, I have videos on them. But basically they're kind of a chat app or an AI agent chat app that allows you to build full stack web applications using only the chat feature. So you don't have to touch a single piece of code and it'll build the front end and the back end for you. Really cool product. If you're trying to build a startup or an app or a small, you know, software as a service tool, these apps usually get you started with your minimum viable product. Google, for some reason, decided to launch one 10 hours ago and it was super exciting as soon as I saw it. And so today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this new product. We're going to try it out, see what things you can do with it. We're going to try to build a small app. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the results. So stick around for the rest of the video if you want to see what this tool is capable of doing. So let's get started. So yeah, so it's called Firebase Studio. And as you can see, it's the full stack AI workspace. And it's from Google. If you don't know Firebase, it's Google's service. They're kind of a backend as a service tool. It's similar to Superbase if you use that. But they decided to create an AI agent workspace that allows you to build full stack web applications. And the most exciting part is you can build mobile apps on here. So I'm very excited to see what Google is able to do with their Gemini 2.5 model, which is one of the best models for programming. If you don't know, I did a video about it previously. I showed you guys how to add it into VS Code. If you're interested, click on the pop up banner that's on the top right. But anyway, let's get started real quickly. We can do this uh, by clicking here, get started. And then you're presented with this page right here. Now you can start by creating a empty, you know, basic repo or like a workspace. If you're trying to, if you already know how to program something, or if you want to start off from scratch and you want a general skeleton, uh, you can start with this. You can use Flutter, Angular, Next.js, you know, such, and then React Native and Expo if you're doing uh, development for a mobile app. But here we are going to just basically create a mobile app from scratch. All you have to do is basically just describe what the app is. So I want to create a mobile app that allows users to chat with their notes. And through the chat page, users can ask questions about their notes. If you're putting your goals, you're setting goals, you're setting things that you need to be reminded of, you're putting things that you might forget on the notes. So I want to create some app. Basically, it's two pages, one for the notes and one for for the chat so you can chat with your notes. So, okay, so I asked it to create a notes app that is powered by AI and users are able to add notes and save them and such. What's exciting about this is Firebase is its own company that does backend as a service. So when you wanna create authentication, so user login and log out and sign up, it's super easy to integrate because they handle this whole thing. So all you have to do is ask it to do it. And they also have a backend as a service feature so you can create a database simply from scratch just by asking it. So we're gonna actually ask it to prototype with AI real quick and see what it can do. So you can accept the terms and service. It'll start loading very quickly and then it will go ahead and start prototyping this app. So it's going to give you the features. As you can see, you can choose the primary, secondary and third color layout. Use clear, organized stuff. You can basically edit things right here. So if you click on edit, you can change the colors if you don't want these colors. This is just generally the first spec and requirements features that you want to give it. So then we can just click prototype this app and it's going to say, OK, let's go and let's start prototyping it and it's slowly going to start building it. And we know for a fact that the Gemini 2.5 is one of the fastest coding models ever. As you can see, it's coding super quickly. It's going to create this app very quickly for us. And by the way, this is all free. We haven't paid a single cent from our pocket to create this app using this new Firebase uh, Studio. So as you can see, going through it, we're going to wait for this and see how fast it can go. It's currently 5.48 p.m. And I'm going to see what it takes from start to finish to build this app. As you can see, there was an internal error. That's fine. That is usually something that happens with these services. All you have to do is just click try again and it will continue going. It's going to ask us for a Gemini API key. So you can just click auto generate here to already, you know, automatically create the Gemini API key for us. And that's what's beautiful about this. This whole ecosystem is Google's ecosystem. So the back end, the front end, you know, the full stack application, the flutter or whatever it is, is all Google. The Gemini is Google. So, you know, all you have to do is click some buttons and it will automatically know what to do and how to build this app. Okay. So I'm making some edit to the the app right here. I don't like how the AI chat is only on based on the single notes. So we want to change this whole thing. I want the AI chat feature to be across the entire app so I can chat with my entire notes. Fairly quick. I'm very proud and very happy at the work that these companies are doing because it's super exciting to democratize and allow everybody to be able to program their dream products. And that's kind of the goal of this YouTube channel. I'm trying to teach everybody regardless if this is going to affect me or not in the future, because as you may know, I'm a software engineer. I don't really care about it replacing me 
and having people uh, be able to use this because at the end it allows people like you who's watching to build their dream product and that just makes me extremely happy okay it doesn't have any notes to draw from i have a meeting on april 19th at 5 p.m with youtube let's just say that make video on firebase long for example cool uh we're just gonna go on ai chat when is my next meeting for example and then you ask it and then it says your next meeting is on april 18th at 5 p.m do i have any scheduled youtube videos yes titled youtube video says to make a video on firebase studio okay how long should that video be and it says it's five minutes long we just prototype this whole thing very very fast it's a basic prototype it's not something fancy but you can create it into something fancy and the way i would do it is i would try it as much as I can to get to an end product before moving on to something like cursor or windsurf. What you can do is you can switch to code here. If you want to chat with it here, ask it to do edits or processes here on the left and pull it in locally, or you can publish it if you want um, using Firebase and you can host it on the internet using the Firebase host. All you have to do is just link it to your project. And as I said, they handle your backend entirely because Firebase is a backend as a service and they handle your Gemini billing and everything. So you have this all in one comprehensive comprehensive way to build full stack applications in a single page right it's super cool so yeah that's it for the video today thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you for watching by the way we're on our way to 12,000 subscribers and then in the future by the end of this year i really want to get to 20,000 subscribers so i really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel and then you put on notifications because i try my best to be the first person to upload videos on this you know ai tools the latest ai tools if you want to be up to date on these new ai tool videos make sure you hit that bell notification and you hit that icon right there and by the way i have a discord down in the description below and as a pinned comment there i post all these new tools as soon as i find them way before i upload these videos so if you want to you know tinker with the tool without watching these long videos you can go ahead join the discord and you'll get a link as soon as i find it so yeah that's it for the video thank you so much be safe be well and goodbye